how can we use the power of music to help to flip our mood when we basically want to feel the exact opposite of how we feel right now. So today's anxiety hack is about creating a mood flip playlist. So this is something to help you feel happy when you feel sad or calm when you feel anxious. So what we do here is we have a think about the mood that we're trying to flip out of. So if you're someone who often feels anxious or often feels angry or often feels sad, for example, then have a think about, you know, wanting to feel the opposite of that mood. Identify the mood that you're trying to create. So in this instance, let's say I often feel sad and I want to help myself feel happier in those moments. So I'm going to create a happy playlist. So first of all, I just identify a whole bunch of songs that make me feel happy. The kind of songs that make me want to dance around the room in a totally goofy way that I might sing along to, I might have happy memories related to them, anything. Songs that I know make me feel good. So I'll create a playlist of those songs and I can obviously update this playlist anytime I want to. So anytime I hear something I go, love that tune, I will add it to my playlist. Okay, the next thing, and this is quite an important one, is to actually like listen to the playlist First of all, not just when you want to flip the mood, but when you already feel good. So when I'm happy, listen to my happy playlist, because actually that kind of helps to remind me, these are songs that make me happy. This is my happy playlist. Yay, yay, happy, happy, happy. And so then it's more powerful. I'm like creating stronger and stronger connections between happiness and those songs, essentially. Likewise, if I get anxious and I want a calming playlist, I will listen to the playlist when I'm in the bath, I'm really chill and zen and feeling good so that I then can increase the strength of the association between those songs and calm. So yeah, you got it. So you've made your playlist, you're listening to it at a time when you're feeling the mood that you want to generate from that playlist. Okay, next, we then get to the point when we start listening to that playlist when we are feeling the opposite of the mood. So when I'm sad, then I put on my happy playlist and actually I've created a really strong association with feeling happy that goes along with those songs. Now, when I'm feeling sad and I listen to my happy playlist, at first it can just feel a bit jarring and difficult but the key thing here is to let yourself go with it let the music kind of wrap itself around you and it will begin to tease out some of those feelings you'll have like memories of feeling happier than you do right now and it will begin to kind of yeah make you start to feel that different mood and sure okay you're feeling really sad listening to a happy playlist isn't going to instantly make you go from like zero to ten but what it might do is take you from like zero to one or two. It might just take the edge off the difficult mood that you're feeling and help to lift you slightly. Likewise, if I'm really anxious and I listen to my calming music, it's not instantly gonna make me like zen, but what it might do is lower my anxiety just a little bit, make it just a little bit more manageable. So it's super simple. Make a playlist, listen to it when you're feeling the mood you wanna feel, then listen to it when you're feeling the opposite of that mood and let the music do its magic. Just trust in it, go with it, allow the music to do its thing. You can obviously create loads of different playlists for loads of different times and another tip I would say here is for me, I often find it really helpful to listen to my music through headphones and just completely lose myself in it. Just yeah, allow it to take over and remove all other distractions give it a go. Um, you might also like to share your playlist. So some people I know create uh, playlists on music sharing sites. So if you've created a playlist and you think it's great and other people might like it too, why not leave it in a comment below and uh, other people could go and give it a listen to. I'd love to hear how you get on with this idea. Does it work for you or do you think it's totally daft? Let me know what you think. Okay, hope it's helpful. Please do subscribe to be updated with my new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays and I hope to see you next time. Bye!